Uh, what's going on guys? Uh, welcome back to the Lakeview Car Channel. Uh, we are working on Nick's Subaru again, of course. What else would we work on? Nothing else, it's just Nick's Subaru. Uh, oh man. <laughs> so uh, we're going ahead and we're reassembling everything. So I'm working on the rear parking brake uh, setup. So those of you that don't know, if you do a rear disc setup, most of the times your manufacturer will either build an e-brake setup into this caliper. It'll be a, a, a cable that'll push the piston out and clamp down on the, on the actual face of the rotor using the pads. Or how Subaru does it is this is actually a drum lining on the inside of this here rear rotor. And they use a drum brake system with pads and everything and hold downs and springs out of the 40s uh, to, uh, to make a car stop on, on a regular incline. Uh, so they're, they can be a little bit convoluted. They're pretty simple once you get to know them. Um, but, so that's what I'm working on. We got Andrew here. He is working on getting the front suspension uh, settled in. We're doing it. We're putting the lower control arms back in. Uh, we went ahead and got bearings pressed into the knuckles with brand new ball joints. So everything in there is going to be brand new, fresh, ready to go. Uh, one, one side was uh, pretty bad. I think we showed that in the last video. The front wheel bearing was really bad so, uh, so we got brand new ones up there we're gonna do new brake lines as you saw we're doing drilled and slotted rotors as well as brand new upgraded uh, calipers on the front and rear there's supposed to be uh, just a touch bigger than than factory while using factory parts so it's gonna give us a nice little bump in our braking system as well as just converting to discs uh, everything back here is gonna be brand new we have Everything except the axle itself uh, will be brand new on this rear suspension. Uh, you can see we've got the lift spacer in, we got the trailing arms. Uh, I saw in the last video, Nick had to go into the body and uh, redo those nuts and they're kind of hole in the body. Uh, Nick ran the parking cables. So now we got the cables back here, so we're going to set up the rear drums, get that going, and uh, probably see some shots of Andrew having glorious amounts of fun with the front suspension on the Subaru. I love doing this. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, so we are on the other side of the Subaru at the moment. We are on the, uh, on the passenger side. Uh, so we got the driver's side pretty much all done except for a uh, brake line. So just so happen to have a caliper over here. So obviously the calipers, you're going to have a banjo bolt that goes through here, just like a normal bolt with a center drilled out and the, uh, and the two et and a drill, drilled hole through the, uh, through the shaft as well, uh, horizontally and vertically. And it goes through that way your fluid can flow through the bolt and make sure you have a tight seal. Um, so these calipers are some power stop upgrades that we got from off of uh, Rock Auto. Our theory is, uh, yeah, Liam's over there doing some welding for another uh, another one of our friends. Just some some basic stuff. Um, but our theory is that these are WRX calipers off of similar year WRX or SDI or Impreza or something like that. Uh, because we went and bought a banjo bolt for for this Forester at uh at o'reilly's and we got the wrong thread pitch so that might be pull the wrong part or the and, and we know these are upgraded calipers so there is also that so the other sides the calipers bolted on everything is there except for uh except for the brake line and then uh, so on that corner we can say that it's in minus a brake line Woo! So uh, we're, we're making some, some victory here. So uh, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go over how to kind of assemble all of this parking brake structure on, on this Forester. Um, pretty much just small drum brakes. We got your hardware kit here. You're gonna have this here post. It's gonna go through the backing plate. Spring is gonna slide over it. And we're gonna have this end piece here and I'll show you how this works. So this end piece is flat, and this cap here has one flat. 
So while you're putting it in, you're gonna push it in with a spring, turn it 90 degrees and it'll lock in. And that'll keep your, your pad and backing plates in place so that you can't go anywhere until you have to twist it 90 degrees to get it apart. And we also have our adjuster here that's gonna help adjust our parking brake, get it to the right settings. That way the cable's nice and tight. We have that there. Here are a couple more springs and odds and ends. And here, uh, there's one more piece that I don't have over here at the moment. Um, but it's a little convoluted, but we can uh, go ahead and get started on it and show you exactly how we gotta get this done. Okay, everybody. So if we look at our parking brake here, so I have this upside down, actually. There we go, look at that. So you have a bracket in here that you got use this little slide pin on. You're gonna crimp the two, two ends. That way it doesn't just slip back off. And this is gonna hook in to your parking brake cable here. This is gonna, your shoe is gonna pivot on that. So when you're putting everything up, got a half moon here, and that is going to mesh against this up here on your backing plate. And if you'll notice, there's a hole right here. Through that hole, we are going to stick that little rod that I showed you guys earlier. So I'm gonna have Nick hold that with his, with his finger back there. I'm gonna slip this over. There's a hole here on the parking brake shoe. That I'll be pressing down with. Subsequently, I will grab these two. Now they make a tool for this, but Nick doesn't own it and I don't own it because we don't work on cars that have drum brakes half the time. So it's gonna be very difficult to see. However, I'm gonna get in here, we'll push it down, twist the end piece. So now that end piece is compressing on that spring, and now when Nick lets off, this parking brake shoe stays there. So we're gonna grab our other shoe here. So it's got the same deal going on. It's got some chamfers, some other cutouts, and it's got another hole right here that our other rod is gonna go through. Nick's on the other side. So here's our rod, we're gonna go through back here, and then we'll set our parking brake and everything over the top of it here. So this is the fun part of drum brakes, is that they suck! Shut up. That's why we own them. You guys are just jealous. My car runs. My car runs too, it just doesn't drive on the road. <laughs> All right, everybody. So we had to fight that for about 17 years. Uh, we're back 17 years later. Subaru is still broken, just like you thought. You never thought this thing would get fixed, neither do I. So we got this piece here. This little spring goes out of here. And it's gonna slide in like this. And then this guy's gonna slide over that, and they're, they're gonna key in right there. And hopefully, when they're all compressed and happy, they find their homes, just like that. Now, that's gonna be all sitting there for a second as we get our other spring and everything going on. We got a star wheel adjuster that's gonna go on the bottom. Uh, make sure that you can get that access hole behind there. Oh, wow. There's an access hole behind there. You gotta make sure that you, you'll be able to get to the actual teeth on the uh, star wheel adjuster. So now we're down to three springs. Woo! Hip Hooray! So this is where it gets fun because we lifted the Subaru now. I gotta get down low because, bruh. Some people have no respect for filming. Oh my God.
Oh, that's all, that's gonna happen like 20 more times, don't worry. <laughs> Don't pick up the trade. Alright, so I do it like that just to make sure that star wheel adjuster doesn't fall out of there. So you saw the two springs up top, now we got two more springs down here. Two more. Or sorry, one more spring down here, you're just going to hook it in there. This one will still be a couple more tries, don't you worry, I won't get it on the first shot. Oh. Never do. Under the camera. Not either. Hey! Congrats! So, as you can see with the Subaru, we got a lot done, but kind of not really. Uh, we still got to work on the front end a little bit, and then we have, uh, I think, just a couple more parts to throw on, and brake bleed, and then test fit the wheels, and send her to the shop to get in a line. But uh, with everything that I did on this car, uh, the disc brake conversion, the parking brake, everything that's going on, I will do a completely in-depth video later explaining everything you'll need, links to parts, everything you're gonna want to prepare for, because uh, this has been a really big project and I wanna help out everyone as much as I can just so they know what to do uh, when they're gonna do it. But that'll be the end of the video here. So stay tuned for the next video on hopefully finishing up, finishing up uh, the front end and uh, getting the brakes fully put on. But we'll see you.